Tasha said the name stays home. If I'm not on that stage, escape ain't on that stage. Tw Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tammy, this is Tammy Talks. Let's talk escape and all the drama that is going on with this tour they are supposed to be going on. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, leave your comments down below because this is interesting. So, many of us watched the reality show that SWV and Escape had last year. I want to say it was like last summer, Fall-ish. So the Queens of R&B aired on Bravo. It was a limited series, see, um, limited series where it was what like six, maybe six to eight episodes. The purpose of the reality show was to show these two nostalgic '90s groups going on a joint tour together that the fans would absolutely love. We expected to see bumps and bruises while they planned this tour. You know, it was stuff like, what's going to be the closing song? Weak versus understanding. Should have been weak, but, you know, whatever. Um, You know, who was going to come out first? What are we going to wear? What is the set list going to look like? Do You know, does Escape have enough up-tempo songs? Because SWV is more, to me, hip-hop. R&B, they have more upbeat songs. Escape has more ballads. So we expected those type of things where you have the egos of, you know, Latasha Scott versus Coco's ego. We expected that. We expected to see some inner turmoil in the groups. So we knew that SWV was going to have maybe a few issues. And we knew that Escape was going to have issues because it's not a secret that the four members of Escape do not all get along. We thought it was going to be more Candy versus Tasha, but it ended up being mainly Tasha versus, shit, Tasha versus everybody. So we found out during this show that Latasha Scott allegedly stole some money from her sister by way of taking her royalty checks and cashing them. Okay. We also found out that Tasha's husband, Rocky, was allegedly skimming money off the top by working with some promoters from the shows that they were doing. Turmoil, chaos within the group. Tasha didn't want to do this. Tasha didn't want to do that. Like, it, it turned into a huge thing. The season ended, for the most part, after fracturing um, Tamika and Tasha's sister relationship because they mom it's a lot if y'all haven't seen it go watch the show but ultimately it ended with tasha they did a just a joint show with swv but tasha went behind her group's back and signed a solo deal with motown gospel now it's important to note Tasha did not quit the group. Tasha said, I want to go solo and do a solo project. She did not leave the group. Tasha has always maintained in all these interviews, she did not quit the group. The other group members have all maintained Tasha did not quit the group. Tasha simply stepped away to do personal endeavors okay so we thought the reality show was going to be coming back the jasmine brand did this whole announcement that we know we were getting a season two now when they said we were getting a season two to that show i immediately was like bullshit tasha gotta be crazy to sign on to do season two you went from being somebody that we was like damn tasha can sing to like nobody supporting your christmas album or your your gospel album. How do you tank a Christmas album? How, right? So it comes out that SWV and Escape are they plan on going on a tour. I guess um I don't know if it's sponsored by Mona Scott Young, but she's involved in the planning, okay? Mona Me Entertainment. So this came out is gonna be featuring Maya and Total and 702, which I was more confused. At the, is Camila back in the group? 702 confused me, but I was like, this is a cute little tour. I wouldn't mind going and seeing that personally. Not even a week later, Tasha 
um, by way of her attorney, is saying, not so fast, hold on, chief, I own the name Escape, which, this is crazy to me. So, remember when Escape had their first reality show, I think it was called Just Kicking It, or something like that, but they had their first reality show, the group was coming back together for, I think, a couple shows, Tiny, Tamika, and Tasha wanted to continue touring and performing as Escape. Candy did not. At that point in time, Candy had no desire to be back in that group for a plethora of reasons. Okay. The three of them decided that they were going to continue on and they were going to now perform under Escape. But ex remember, everybody called it es Escape. We don't take shit seriously. <laughs> Escape was wild, but they were escape, but the, the E was a three. So they were escape three. That's what they were operating under. To my understanding, from what I can remember, it's because Candy did not want them to release music under the name Escape because it wasn't the four of them. So that's when they became Escape <laughs> or Escape 3, okay? During that time, this time of turmoil, the sisters, the Scott sisters, Tasha and Tamika, trademarked Escape. They own it. And y'all know Escape is spelled not the typical way. It is X S K A X. S C A P E. Why did I say K? <laughs> That's how it's spelled, right? So take off that first E, put an X. So Tasha and Tamika own the name Escape, right? So that's important to note because present day, present day, Latasha Scott, and this is by way of straight from the A, so shout out to them. Latasha Scott, through her attorney, Laron E. Rogers, is claiming that Live Nation, Mona Scott Young's company, which is Mona Me Entertainment Group, are, refer are interfering with her rights as one half of the trademark owner of the Escape brand. So they sent this letter saying that Latasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation, whom Escape has contracted to perform on numerous occasions, y'all know Live Nation is huge. Everybody uses them. Um, has contracted with individuals and is publicly advertising the Escape Mark to promote a live musical performance for a series of concerts during the R&B or the Queens of R&B tour without Tasha's consent. In addition to failing to obtain consent, you have also failed to even reach out to Latasha to agree on financial terms for use of the mark as well as to discuss her performance. Um, she It then goes on to say, Mona Me Entertainment, whom it appears to be a co-promoter of this Queens of R&B tour has specific knowledge of Latasha's ownership and rights to the mark because Mona Me Entertainment specifically obtained Tasha's consent to use the mark for a television series produced by Mona Me Entertainment. So with that saying is, look, Mona knows good and goddamn well that you need to consult me for this tour, because you consulted me for the TV show. Y'all know how we feel about Mona. Mona is a snake in the grass. Always have been, probably always will be, okay? It then goes on to say, in addition, Mona Scott Young, the principal of Mona Me Entertainment, previously managed the music group Escape. We come to no other conclusion than to believe that Miss Young and Mona Me's conduct to be intentional with the specific intent to interfere with the rights of Latasha. So here is a screenshot kind of of the letter. Can y'all see that? So if you go to straight from the A's, um, website to their blog. They have a copy of the letter. It's from Fox Rothschild, which is probably the um, the firm that Tasha's lawyer 
works for him. So Tasha sent um, a similar letter to Live Nation and in the letter to Live Nation, it's saying that, you know, Tasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation, whom Escape has contracted to perform, um, including the Lovers and Friends May 4th, wait, to perform at Lovers and Friends, which is, I guess, supposed to be May 4th, 2024 festival in Las Vegas without Tasha's consent. So they're basically saying that y'all just don't give a damn about how Tasha feels about this. This is my problem. While on one hand, Mona and Live Nation, if y'all know that y'all have to contact both Latasha and Tamika Scott, why aren't y'all doing that? Why aren't y'all doing that? That's how I feel on one hand. Tasha has every right to send out these letters. If I own the name, and you know I owe the name, the audacity of you to go out and start promoting this tour when y'all haven't talked to me about if I'm even going to be involved in it. Now, remember when we saw the press for it, when Ta um, when Mona had escaped and SWV do that little cute little Instagram promo or whatever, Tasha was not there. Tasha wasn't there. So on one hand, it do seem like y'all moving kind of kind of snake-like without Tasha. On the other hand, though, Tasha, you have made it very clear you do not want to be a part of this group. You made that very, very clear. Now, the three of them, Tamika, Tiny, and Candy, have been performing as Escape, I believe, for the better part of a year. There has been no issues with that. None that we have, we've been made aware of. Tasha is not saying in these in these letters that, you know, they've already been doing this without me. And my lawyer has been a part of that, too, unless Tasha is getting paid for that somehow. But I can't imagine. I cannot imagine Candy or Tiny being like, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pay Tasha so we can keep performing even though she's not doing any of the work. So people are like, what's the difference between the, the one-off shows or the series of shows that Escape is getting booked for and then this tour? It's very simple. This is a bigger tour with more money coming in. So either Tasha wants to go out and sing or Tasha is like, no, I told y'all that I'm going solo for a moment in time. So y'all can't do anything else. I think it's very selfish to feel that just because you don't want to be in the group right now that the other ladies don't get to work. Why would you get paid, Tasha? How did y'all let this happen that only two members of the group own the name? That's what's crazy to me. As much as Candy pegs herself on being big business and all that type of shit, why don't you own part of the name? Because I feel like if it, if it would have come down to the four of these women all owning a, a, a equal quarter part of this name, I guess maybe we can find a way to like kind of buy her out or, you know, do something like that. But it, for it to be just Tamika and Tasha that own it, because now we got to look at you, Tamika, because you knew that you had to contact your sister. I kind of feel like, I mean, to be real, they could just be like, sure, Tasha will pay you, but we'll just route your money straight to Tamika. You owe her some money anyways. This is crazy. Y'all think the tour is going to happen? I know that Tasha, it was another article I read. I can't remember where it's from. But they were saying that Tasha feels that it's misleading to promote this as escape when it's only going to be three of the women there. It's not misleading, Tasha, because it's been the three of them for the past year or so. For, I kind of feel like now, when if you say escape is performing, or escape is coming, I assume that Tasha's not coming. Remember, you wanted to go solo. You've always wanted to go solo. So if you want to be solo and you're working on your solo career after these two failed albums, Gospel and Christmas, why do you care if these other ladies are out touring, singing your old song? Because they're not making new music. 
singing your old, singing y'all's old songs when you didn't want to do it in the first place. I 100% feel like this is all Rocky and Tasha's ear. I personally don't think that Tasha cares. I think this is Rocky saying, no, if they're going to be out, if they're going to be performing, you own the name, go get that bag. You're not going to go perform, but we want the money from it because we own the name. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Did y'all get tickets to the tour? Did y'all get insurance on y'all tickets? (laughs) Y'all get insurance on y'all tickets? Let's talk about this down below. Do y'all think that Tasha is well within her rights to feel that, yeah, you need to be contacting me? Or do you feel like you weren't, you don't want to be in the group right now? You stepped away to go solo. Why can't the, why can't the other three of us go out and make some money? Let me know what you guys thought about this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.